Hi guys, it is me again, and we are going to defend our research projects. Okay, so my research paper was titled American Marxism, Richard T. Eli to John Maynard Keynes and beyond. Um, unfortunately, I ran out on my time constraints and was not able to go as far as I would like. Um, I did get a finished product either way. My basic research question um, continues along this conversation of is progressivism Marxism? Uh, more exclusively for this paper is how is progressive economics a form of Marxism or socialism? And the significance of that um, for those that are not or have not try to involve themselves with higher education and academics is progressive historians, economists, um, they, they dominate academia. And the writings um, that get published, that get distributed, the classrooms, the national curriculum are all written by Marxist academics. So that's the relevance is that this needs to be addressed in our education system. Um, we are not teaching our youth how to think. We are teaching them what to think. And what they are being taught is definitely not a classically liberal education. I would hardly call it an education at all, especially under the, the Marxist tenets, where it's just race, class, gender, and very few are learning proper historical relevance. Um, the explanation of the key primary sources used in the principal uh, research methodology. Um, I primarily, uh, I kind of am all over the board in some areas, especially when I need to attack, start talking about Marxism and progressivism and connecting the dots. Um, I did put a, uh, on the front end of my paper, a heavy focus obviously on Richard T. Eli who is basically considered the founder of progressivism. He was an economist. He was trained in Germany. Um, he basically believed in a form of what I would call a form of national socialism. Um, and indeed, the Germans would look to what the progressives were doing. The Germans of the 30s looked heavily to what progressives were doing economically and uh in, in laws um, to the progressive uh, era and copy a lot of that. Um, and, you know, with uh, Richard T. Eli, it's not, it wasn't as hidden as it was when Kane, John Maynard Keynes comes around and LBJ and FDR, where they would dance away from titles of socialist, um, Marxist, things like that. I mean, with titles by Richard T. Eli, like French and German Socialism in Modern Times, The Past and Present of the Political Economy, this is what Richard T. Eli believed, and he heavily influenced the government, the early scholastic sphere across the nation, and embedded these ideas and these writings into the nation. Um, and it was not as guised early on, the late 1800s and early 1900s, when him and his cronies were rolling this progressive ideology out, uh, pretty much upon an unsuspecting populace. Uh, most people did not really start to catch on that there was something strange here till about the middle of the progressive era. And then, you know, uh, terms like socialist, uh, Marxist, fascist started being thrown around even in Congress. This is in some of the congressional records as well. Uh, beyond just the writings, you know, of others like uh, William uh, Beiderwolf, who wrote Shall Communist Rule America in 1936. And so what's the summation of these research findings? You know, what I find, um, I started asking this question about progressivism as Marxism a long time ago. And what I continue to find is the more I dig, the more I research this, the more obvious this question becomes, the more the dots connect themselves. And it's unfortunate that this is not an open discussion in the university, though it should be. And if I have anything to say about it, it will be. And it takes some tenacity because, like I said, especially in history, the, uh, the curriculum is dominated by 
progressives, socialists, all are Marxists, by the way. These are all Marxist ideals at their roots. And so that would be the summation of what I continue to find, that the more I tear these things apart, it, the, the more obvious it becomes. And, you know, our youth, our education, our knowledge base, our critical thinking skills as a country deserve to have these terms put before us openly so we can at least have a debate as to which way we would like to go. Marxists, you know, classically liberal. So that's uh, what I went for, and I uh, thank everybody, and I hope everybody has a great weekend.